Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Company of Heroes commentary at Samois. And uh, before we get this uh, all started and everything, I uh, just want to say that uh, if you check the video description, uh, you'll see that I have a Twitch TV account and this is actually the first match I ever, or actually the first thing I ever streamed uh, with my Twitch TV and you can watch me generally every day uh, for a few hours playing various games but generally it's Company of Heroes. As well, um, uh, if you have a replay you'd like me to cast or do for you, uh, just email it to me at the email in the description. Okay, so as I said before, this is at Samois and I'm playing Vion, Boin, something or another. Um, and uh, yeah, so like usual, um, he immediately started building a Wehrmacht quarters, and I immediately started building a barracks. Now, on this map, I typically tend to kind of like come right here, if I'm playing on this side naturally. Uh, and I like to barricade this little bit right here off. Because, you know, can't go that way entirely at all. And it's a lot easier to fight over here, if that's all you have to focus on. Alright, and I'm getting ready to have my first rifle squad out, and let's see what's he planning to do here. Mm, nothing at the moment. Prepare for duty. Nothing at all, so... Hmm. There we go, now he's rolling out at MG42. This is a, this is a great map for a... Uh, MG spam if you're on this side because you don't really have very many difficult points to block. You have to block here, here, and right here. And it's ter it's tremendously easy. You put a, one in there, and then maybe like an additional one here or here as an additional fire because it is quite a distance, so the accuracy and the pin's not so good. And here's pretty easy to just block off completely. Okay, so now we're just kind of doing the typical run around and cap all the points. And I'm trying a desperate attempt to <laughs> barbed wire this off, but he sets up an MG42 on me. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why any of my men were just hanging around. I generally do typically try, at the very least, to, uh, you know, uh, always, uh, give them multiple, uh, orders. But that's okay. Hmm, so far things aren't uh, looking too good for me at the moment. Ow. Ah, the MG42 is so insane of a weapon. Hmm. And this is kind of like the quiet bits, you know, where, well, basically where everyone's kind of uh, starting to cap points and not much combat's going on. He's running up his engineers to cut the wire. I really wish I had an MG42 I could have run up here and, you know, held off. Though I did have three rifle squads, so if I had three rifle squads here, I probably could have held off anything you kind of threw at me, mostly speaking. Ah! Under fire from crowd 
front lines are collapsing. And I do not believe he has chosen a. Uh, I do not believe he has chosen a commander yet. That's interesting. Uh, I went airborne in case uh, you guys were wondering what I went. <laughs> and I'm running up my other rifle squad to kind of hook up and around. But I really didn't want them firing like that. He also ran a quite successful little uh, engineer rush right down here to cut me off. But thankfully, I got all these bottom points down here. Enemy unit down. Let's see, I have another building down here. Ah, I finally got myself a. Uh, we heavy weapons support center or rather a weapon support center needed myself some snipers sector being captured enemy unit down Wow. I like how effective the, uh, the MG42 is at just shredding the health. Hmm. Your men die so quickly from that. You know, that sniper gave me a lot of hell. I really should have built the Jeep and ran it up, but I will admit I did not. The Jeep would have cut it down pretty quickly, too. Lost a unit. They're all dead. <sighs> I'm sorry, just sorry for the sigh. It's just watching <laughs> watching that happen is just insane. It's so awesome how a well placed sniper can just completely and utterly shred your men. But I did finally manage to bring up an MG forty two. And I got one poor lone dude left. Try to run him in here, and no ground out there. <sighs> so here is the uh, the fallback point. The um, this is the point in the match where uh, I really started to get the crap beat out of me, pretty pretty badly too. But I got myself a supply yard, and he hasn't built anything other than a Wehrmacht quarter, so I guess uh, just maybe he doesn't have the fuel or the resources. Who knows? And naturally, the sniper's back, and... But thankfully, I finally have a supply yard now, so... Enemy unit down. And I got his sniper. Thank God. It's terrible. I've also started equipping all my engineers with uh, the flamethrower. You know, behind cover or something with the flamethrower, they're quite effective if anything tries to get right up on them.
capture the location. And now at this point, I'm just kind of running around, uh, capping everything back over to me. Fuel supply is ours. Awesome. So now all my men now have the, uh, all my riflemen now have the browning. As you can see right there, that'll be uh, very useful later on. We're losing a munitions point. The uh, the American riflemen become quite good uh, after you give them uh, the bar, but they're not so great until you give them the bar. I mean, they're okay against Volk's grenadiers, but you know. And another sniper. I have to say, I really did like this one here, running them down with one rifle squad and engineer squad, and cutting most of them down. And we'll go look over here where I failed terribly. Now, I'm not really sure what happened here, but my men got suppressed by that bunker and that MG. And even after I fired them up, I kept trying to get them to throw a satchel. But they got utterly slaughtered before they would even... Uh, it's almost like the pathfinding broke and they just couldn't figure out how to get there. So they kept running back and... Well, you all saw it. It was quite... Um, it was quite bad. So at this point, uh, I was kind of worried because, you know, I got some men over here and I'm capping some points. But I don't really have anything over here. Actually, I have nothing. The only thing I have at my base is two riflemen, three now, and one engineer. And while he's running down with an extra Volksgrenadier to reinforce his sniper and his other Volksgrenadier squad. Observation focus report, we are losing a sector. And I got myself a uh, rifle squad coming up to assist my one lone rifle squad. pretty awesome <laughs> runs this way runs into another squad goes to retreat and runs right into a full squad excellent there's that sniper there it is so he still has a sniper and he does have another Volk squad down here and he is reinforcing and he's building a Panzer Command. You know, I really don't like it when people like rush. <sighs> it's like a it's like a tactic that you can pretty much easily do. Is you just you just gotta hold out and hold as much fuel as you can. And you just gotta rush straight for the Panzer Command. Front ship. Crowds are grabbing territory from us. And then you know whatever you just get yourself a nice lovely Panther and hey, life is good again. And yes, he's he's uh, sniping me over there. Can't really do much though, thanks to that. Enemy unit down. As well over here, I was kind of like, kind of fighting and losing battle. I really didn't want to get my men out of that MG bunker. But I managed to cut him down and. Left him mostly weak, but still has four men in the squad. 
AT drop is asking for coordinates. They're taking one of our points. Let's see, where did I drop those men? I dropped them right over here. I think right here I try a second. Yep, here we go. Nice. <sighs> it gives great comfort to know that I've made a giant hole in that building, lowering the protection value of it. I really should have retreated the airborne right there a tad bit sooner. Once again, we're playing the must keep men. Really need another one right here. That would pretty much seal the deal with that. <sighs> if only. I really wish uh, he hadn't have gotten out of there with that thing. That'd have been nice. And up here, I lose both my engineers. Pretty sure I do, anyways, if I remember correctly. Shouldn't have uh, gotten them out of there. Should have ran the riflemen up, but... You know, it's not really very nice uh, losing two that way. And I've reinforced this point here. And I still haven't done anything about this yet. And I'm also trying to... Uh, Build a machine gun emplacement down here. Enemy unit down. All right, managed to finally get that up. That was a pretty nasty shock. I actually managed to build it. Here, I uh, do something I couldn't believe. I actually grabbed the MG42. The MG42, uh, as you, well, anyone who's played knows that's a pretty, it's not, I guess, that rare of a drop, but it is somewhat rare of a drop. Because uh, most players don't really let you have it because it has a much higher range than the 30 cal. Uh, it doesn't have armor piercing burst, which kind of sucks, but it, you know, overall it's significantly better in the end. And he gets killed. I think. Nope. Makes it through. Wow. We can airdrop resources now. At this rate, we'll be taking Berlin by Christmas. And that's the ball game. Construction finished. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I wanted my men to go here. And they always choose the shortest route possible and the quickest one. So they kept running straight down. Now here we have my first really big scary obstacle and that is the Oswin Flak Panzer. Honestly, I was expecting like, you know, 
I guess I was expecting a Panther, because the last few matches I've played, I've gotten Panther rushed, and I was really expecting that. But nope, that's not what I got. Instead, I got something, in my case, that's far worse. And trying to build my tank trap. This was kind of failure. <sighs> the German tanks run over men so easily. Then yes, I, I am trying a very desperate act to get him with a satchel. It didn't work that well, and I did get saved by that gun right there. At least I knocked out the gun. Then I get the tank. Unfortunately, I don't really have any real way to protect my uh, that little side over there. Do have a rifle squad though? Ah, he learned. Shame. right there. Enemy unit down. On station. Ah, an MG42 inside of a building. Even if it is not really the greatest building ever. Oh, and I got a strafing around. I must have used it, like, immediately. And I have another rifle squad coming up. And he just decided to drop at that point, I guess. Not having the fuel to be able to build a Panther or an Ostwin, he just kind of gave up there. Which is good for me, because, as you can see, I didn't have the manpower to get an airdrop. <laughs> so he would have torn me to pieces before I would have ever gotten the airdrop. Let's see, what was I building here? I was building more engineers to send up there to... Kind of locked down that area. Okay, so um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this commentary. And as I said before, please check the description and follow me on Twitter, Facebook. And if you'd like, go on ahead and follow me on Twitch TV where you can see some live recordings. Oh, sorry, live streaming uh, a variety of games. The list is on the channel. Thank you.